This is maybe half hour to 45 minutes after I plugged it in. I think it was showing around 25 or 30%, whatever it was in the last video. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. And then I'm gonna plug that. And I'll go to... That's off. Okay, here. Now we'll see if it'll fire up. Right, so I end up with a, 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 a blue light. Come on, where are you? There. And we'll try this. It says it shows 100%. I don't know how it could have charged it that fast. All right, let's try putting it in a... Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, it's, it's 
working, but whether it'll keep working, I don't know. I hate to take it very far because I don't know if it's just gonna quit on me again. <sighs> well, I'm gonna shut it off. This is a continuation of the previous video. I just figured I should try to turn it off and on. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. So. Just go here. It's, it's blue. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Everything's off. All right. I'll turn it on again. See what happens. Never know. If it's going to work or not. Okay. It's showing a blue light. Where is it? There it is. Blue light. Try to start the display. Here we go. Okay, now, see? It's 0% now. Let's see. It says it's in the thing, but let's try to turn it on. Nothing. Nothing. And you, oh, and this shut off. So it's totally unreliable. Don't know what it's gonna do ever. Try it on again. All right, it's off. And I'll turn it on again. There's blue lights. Or whatever color that is, it looks blue to me. And then try to power this on again. See, now still showing zero. And I just charged it. I mean, it was just fully charged. Now that shut off. So I can't take this thing anywhere because I never, it's not going to keep working. It's just screwed up somehow, whether it's in the battery or what, I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad I got that on video. Okay, I waited. A little while, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour, whatever it's been. So I'm going to try this again. So here we go. Come on with the... Okay, a blue light there, whatever that means. I can't remember. Anyway, so here we're going to... Just shuts off. Nope, no joy. Just to prove it, got it apart. So it is taken apart. So plug it back together. Plug it back together. That one right there. goes now we'll see what happens it doesn't mean it's gonna work if I do that but I'll try turning it on see it still shows zero percent nothing so last time what I did I shut everything off with the power button down here and it's all off the other way so I can't tell what's on the screen. Can't really see what I'm videoing here. But so I have done this. Before. And then try it again. Sometimes it comes on. Turn it on, got a blue light, and then we'll power on here. That's yeah, still 0%. I just charged this, showed 100%. I have another video I just did this morning that showed that. So now, sometimes if I wiggle wires, 
I've tried, you know, jerking all the wires around. These one time I wiggled here and, and it all came back to life for a little bit. But, you know, I can bounce it up and down and it doesn't do anything. So basically, see, I was counted up by like 7%, but it's still, of course, it doesn't do anything. If I put it there and hit the throttle, it still doesn't give me any throttle response. So it's dead. It's showing 10% now. What that's about, I don't know. But usually it'll shut off after a while. But why would it do this? You know, I could bounce the bike up and down a little bit more. I just shouldn't have the bike to bounce it up and down because it's too it bounces. Bounces up and down all the time when you're riding. So. Oh, look at that. Came up to 25%. 24 is dropping. 23%. 20, now it's dropping again. See? There's something screwy somewhere. Now I have taken out the battery and replaced it many times. Uh, reseated it. And it's, I just charged it this morning. It said 100%. Uh, and it wasn't charged. I charged it before. It was still at 100% before, but it didn't show it. And I've taken out the lock and the receptacle for this to check the connections. And they seem fine. So now we're down to 12%. It's going to go down to zero again. You can tell. So anyway, that's that's the situation. I can keep videoing this. Yep, then it shuts off, which is kind of what it does. Uh, Aventon power problem. Uh, disconnected the motor. I'm going to replug it in. Um, just as a troubleshooting thing, I powered it on and it came up with a motor hall error on the screen. And then the screen shut off. I guess I could do it again. I just didn't know what was going to happen, so I'll power the battery on, turn the display on. The yep, display just flashes and doesn't come on. I shut everything off. And I'm going to reconnect this one. So I got to put this down to do that. Try this right here. Do any good to put it there or not. Okay, it's got. That's really interesting. Must have some connection. There's an arrow there and an arrow there. And it's pushed all the way as far as I can get. So now I'm gonna power on the battery. Zero percent and shut off immediately. Shut it all off again. Okay, it's done that before. So no big deal. So now I'm gonna Disconnect the battery and reconnect it. So the battery's out. Everything looks normal. I don't know if you can focus on that or not. It's got my phone on the floor. Everything is clean and all that, and everything inside here looks like new. No bent pins, no nothing. You know, I mean, it just, when I took that piece out, I'm looking at right now, 
to examine it and the wires were solidly connected on the bottom so I'll put the battery back in by, by the way Abington it'd be nice if you put some finger grips or something on these batteries because they're slippery and I got really bad arthritis in my hands it's a pain in the butt trying to grab this sometimes on a cold morning especially Seat it all the way. And rubber things like that. Those, I never had one that lasted more than a few months. So that disappeared a long time ago because it broke off the tether. So, might be another kind of plug you could put on there too. All right, so reconnected the battery. Sometimes this does something, most of the time not. All right, we're gonna restart everything maybe. See, it still says 0%, and that's just not right. It was 100% charged, you know, this morning. I haven't ridden it anywhere. It's been troubleshooting, so no joy. Resetting the battery, reinstalling the battery. And I've, I've done the controller one, wiggle the battery, I mean, the cables. So, you know, I've done all these I can do. I mean, these are just, what, brake lights and... Uh, you know, uh, hydraulic cable and shift cable. I mean, nothing there. So, anyway, no joy. I can shut it off anyway, so. Battery shuts off. That's all there is. Okay, I'm going to... It said 0%, and I mean, it read fully charged earlier today, and I haven't ridden it. So unless it's bleeding off inside, I can't believe it wouldn't get really hot if it had an internal short. So um, there's something in the communication or the battery itself or something that's screwed up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the charger on it. And... Plug it in. Um, here's the thing. I'm plugging it in the wall. And shows green. Goes to red. And the time right now is. Oh, I can't read it on my reading glasses on. Um, It's uh, 2.26, it says, so that's in the afternoon. We'll see how long that light stays red. Okay, it's like a minute later, and the charger has gone green. So it was 100% charged, even though the display shows, shows nothing, 0%. I'll go ahead and try to restart it after I unplug all this. Yeah, I shouldn't have shut the stupid video off, but anyway. Turn the power on, so we got blue light. Try this thing here. Focus on that. Still shows zero. So, anyway. Just on the off chance that there's something wrong with the battery connector when I charge it, because um, it just showed full charge, on, you know, green on the charger after it was red for a minute. So I'm going to use a non-metallic, custom-made, scientific probe. I'm going to wiggle around in there on the connector down here to see if it's has any effect at all. So we'll turn it on. Yeah, that, no, no joy, didn't do anything. Not a thing, 
deader than a doornail now. I won't even turn on the display at all. All right, let me uh, try something here. Just need it to... Okay, so I don't know if I got that last bit, but uh, I just turned it on. I can't get any response. Oh, now it's coming on. And then it went right off. So just to make sure that it has no effect, I'm going to shut the battery off. Okay, lights are off. No light on the battery. And I'm going to wiggle around in here to see that's not loose. See, it's tight. It doesn't move. I'll get a little closer, I guess. Does it move? There's no nothing loose in there. So that's not been jerked or beat on or anything or pulled. So that doesn't seem to be, there's no way that that's moving around or shorting out from movement. So I'm just trying to anticipate things that Aventon's gonna ask me to do. Say I've already done that, so. And that proof I did. So now I turn it back on. We'll see what happens this time. And I get nothing. Nothing is happening. I'm holding the button down and nothing is happening. Let's try one more time. Absolutely nothing. Shut it off. It's off. Turn it back on. It's on. This problem is just getting worse as I go. It's not staying the same, it's getting worse. Try it again. It came on, flash, shut off. So, I don't know what else to do. I think I've done everything you can do here to try to figure this out at home.